Hey guys, this is Ty Forest Games, and back to your reaction to Death Battle Mewtwo vs. Shadow. The, mo the, the one I did not see coming. If anything, I expected Mewtwo vs. Silver, but this is actually pretty awesome too. And with me is... Zack. Yes, you remember him from Zack Reacts to Red vs. Blue, right? Oh, shut up. I was planning to get Haley here too, but... Coles. Well, yeah, that was her explanation for not being here. Coles. Because apparently they went to Cool Springs. Apparently. Damn. I want to know. This is actually this is actually 14 and a, and a quarter minutes long. I could I, I could get this in one sitting, maybe. Most likely not, but I'm just going to do it the way I have. Since, you know. Alright. Let's just play it. Go. Alright. I know basically everything about Shadow and some, and almost everything about me too. always extraordinary in one way or another. <laughs> Oh yeah. You attempt to defy me. <laughs> Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Fuji was working to create a brand new life form which would change the world. Shadow? That's great and all, but he had no. something else in mind. <laughs> Fuji oh. hoped his experiments would help him discover a way to resurrect the person he cherished most, his deceased daughter, Amber. With unlimited resources oh. funded by mob money, he figured yeah. out how to clone his daughter's ball of consciousness. Because it's science! A... But science. before he could finish, Woo. he had to create the most powerful Pokemon, a clone of the legendary Mew. And he named him Mewtwo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fuji wasn't very creative when it comes to naming, but when you can create a new life form with nothing but a fossilized eyelash, you know you're a master of genetic engineering. A field I'd love to get more experience in myself. Don't you a thousand times, Wiz. You're not going to alter my DNA. <laughs> I would never do that. Always watching, Wiz. Always. Growing up in a test tube, Mewtwo's only eh. companions were Fuji's other test subjects, including Amber herself through some sort of psychic link. Amber taught what? Mewtwo about the, the sun, the moon, tears, and, you know, life stuff. Oh, and also death when she died for good right in front of him. Oh. This may be too mentally traumatic for the still infant Mewtwo. Dr. Fuji's team erased all memory of her. Unfortunately, this left Mewtwo with a feeling of loss and confusion, and no memories to explain why. With nothing else to do, Mewtwo decided to take out all his aggression on all of humanity. Then he turned yep. some oh, stupid wow. kid into stone, a bunch of Pokemon cried, and Mewtwo figured out humans aren't so bad after all. Mewtwo is one of the most powerful psychic type Pokemon, it looks like so. defeating its foes with the power of its mind. No, looks Where more like Frieza. You keep calling him it. Both. Is Mewtwo yes. a guy or a girl? Well, um, neither. Technically, neither. it's genderless. Yeah. Oh, how does it bang? <laughs> it doesn't. Bummer. Well, one thing for oh. sure, it's got no. balls uh. of ghost energy that blow holes in stadiums. Had an onslaught of undodgeable stars, multiple types of defensive shields, and a healing ability for when those shields don't quite cut it. Alongside its other abilities, Mewtwo's favorite move is Psychic, a powerful form of telekinesis. With it, Mewtwo can effortlessly send enemies as heavy as a 500-pound onyx flying through the air. He can even make himself fly like a Zubat out of hell. Also, it can augment its melee combat with psychic energy or occasionally a massive spoon. Spoon! What do you say he sometimes... Oh! <laughs> what the... Well, nothing about oh. Mewtwo is cuddly, especially when it uses Hyper Beam or Psy Strike. Attacks so strong they can incapacitate the toughest of Pokemon in a single hit. And when trouble comes a noggin, Mewtwo enters the door with a badass Mega Evolution. Mewtwo is one of the few Pokemon capable of Mega Evolving without the assistance of a trainer. As Mega Mewtwo Y, it gains enormous boosts in strength, defense, and speed. Making Mewtwo powerful enough to fly into space while carrying a robot bug monster. Fast enough to breach escape velocity over 25,000 miles per hour, Ooh. over 32 times the speed of sound. So, really, really fast. Mewtwo is so skilled eh, I still think practice, Shadow's a bit faster. Eh, made once. Yeah. On top of all that, it can survive a massive amount of abuse. Like the time it got double impaled by an alien Pokemon's tentacles. Ooh. Didn't make sense through that? It effortlessly defeated most of the Pokemon Champions team, including a legendary Articuno. It also 
also teleported an entire crater lake from the top of Mount Cana. This lake is comparable to a similar body of water in the real world, Lake Kilatoa, which holds over 385 million tons of water. Round! That's almost enough power to lift my ex-wife on buffet day. Being a psychic Pokemon, Mewtwo is naturally weak to bug, ghost, and dark type damage. Strange Dr. Fuji didn't pull that code out of his DNA, but whatever. Hey, you gotta have some sort of failsafe when you're making the world's most powerful Pokemon. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, the ultimate failsafe against the most powerful psychic Pokemon. Bugs! Oh, God, it's a Caterpie! Get it away! It's That's just terrifying. Creators have used and betrayed me. So I stand alone. There's a song for that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the second building he destroyed. The first one was the Years place ago, he was created. A brilliant scientist named Professor Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Sonic's forever balding nemesis, worked to create a new life form which would change the world. Ooh, it was called good. Project Shadow, a covert oh. government operation to discover the secret to immortality. Besides, you know, like diet and exercise, because fuck that. In Professor Gerald's case, yeah. specifically for his granddaughter Maria who Sounds was dying familiar. as a result of neuroimmune deficiency syndrome. Oh. Now that I think about it, Project Shadow is a pretty scary name for a program that's all about curing diseases and saving humanity. Maybe it has something to do with the program's secret pact with a hive mind alien race called the Black Arms. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Oh. Okay. After the leader of the Black Arms what gave some of his DNA to Gerald. The cure of all diseases, aliens, and put them all together to make the ultimate life form? You guess. Yes. A hedgehog! Shadow the Here. Hedgehog was the first yep. step toward a perfect future. And during his time in Gerald's space laboratory, Shadow and Maria grew very close. Until they were separated by a bullet. Turns out the governments of the world weren't too fond of all the evil alien business, so they stormed the place, captured Shadow, and... Yeah, Black Doom gave some of his DNA, and now later, Shadow Shadow's basically and has his, his, his Black Doom's blood. Just yeah. killing everyone, yeah, yeah. until he remembered Maria's last words were pretty much, Don't be a dick, so he <laughs> changed his mind. Now on the side of good, Shadow dedicated himself to protecting the world from the forces of evil. Turns out fighting the bad ever. guys isn't yep. too hard when you've got super strength, super speed, helped along by some awesome rocket shoes, and a bucket of deadly chaos powers. By channeling the potentially unlimited power of the Chaos Emeralds, Shadow can enhance physical attacks, heal over time, and strike with powerful energy blasts. And with the power of Chaos Control, he can warp through space and distort time, slowing it down to a crawl, or with enough power, freezing it completely. He's got so much power, he can only contain it all with two inhibitor rings around his wrists. Unless he gets all seven Chaos Emeralds, which he can use to transform into a Super Saiyan Shadow. <laughs> Super Shadow, he is completely invulnerable, can move at the speed of light, and has unlimited access to the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, Enough power to stop the space colony oh, yeah. collision with Earth, and to teleport a giant comet the size of a city. Assuming this the only thing that can hurt Super Shadow, or really those super forms in general, is a form that is as strong as it, it is. Like another super form. Even without his super form, Shadow is powerful enough to wipe out an They're entire trucking. alien fleet in one blast. Fast so, enough yeah. to reach hypersonic oh. speeds. And strong enough to play tug of war with a giant space monster who is so big, he uses a planet a tenth the size of our moon as a chair. Next <laughs> life, when you've yes. got this much power, you're probably a cubby dick. Yes, Shadow is excessively overconfident in his abilities. Also, he has a terrible memory. This guy has spent most of his life wondering who the hell he is. And even when he's not your he usually uh. winds up losing his memories later anyway. To be fair, if I fell from outer space and all I lost were my memories, I'd consider it a really good day. Yeah. I mean, I lose them from just falling over at the bar. That's probably not because of the fall. Also, we yeah. can't forget that the Super Shadow form only lasts so long. Then again, Ooh. when you move at light speed and have control over space and time, who cares about time limits? Not usually a problem for the ultimate life form. Many years ago, Professor Gerald Robotnik endowed me with the power of chaos control. A normal creature like yourself doesn't stand a chance against me. Alright, all right. prepare to Let's pause. This debate once and for all. Okay. It's time for a death battle! 
Okay, pause. There we go. Okay, right. it's good. It's good. All right, and that was part one. Prepare for part two, the actual fights. Till next time, guys. See ya.